Okay, so now that we've started uh, to talk about x-intercepts and y-intercepts, I want to remind uh, you all that all x-intercepts, so make a note of this in your notes, all x-intercepts all have a y-value of zero. All y-intercepts have an x-value. I don't know why I'm writing this sideways, sorry. <laughs> an x-value of zero. So you have zero something. Okay. So what I have at the bottom of page 23 right here is some, um, some scenarios that you could have with any graph that you look at. In this first scenario here, um, this graph has no x-intercept because there's no point um, on the graph that costs the x-axis. And it has just one y-intercept. The second um, graph here shows one x-intercept right there. And there's no y-intercept because there's nothing or no point on the y-axis. The third graph here, this graph here, there's no x-intercept because it never crosses the x-axis. And there's no y-intercept because it never crosses the y-axis. This graph here is an interesting graph. It has one x-intercept right here. And it has one, two, three y-intercepts. And this graph has the same x and y-intercept right here. It crosses both the x-axis and it crosses both the y-axis. And they have the same x and y-intercept. Okay? So we'll see. We'll talk more about x and y-intercepts um, throughout the semester. Um, it's kind of a, a reoccurring idea throughout the um, entire course. Okay, let's go to example six. And example six um, is a, a real life example dealing with um, <coughs> my dog barking, uh, with points and graphs and um, putting in values. So let's go ahead and look at this graph here. And let me go and pause while I take care of my dog. Hold on one second. Okay, so example six um, has a scenario, or not scenario, but a real life example, and this was done in 2007. It talks about the age of marriage and the probability of divorce. So it says divorce rates are considerably higher for couples who marry in the teens. The line graph in figure 1.11 shows the percentage of marriages ending in divorce based on the wife's age of marriage. Okay? So here we have if the wife um, is under 18, there's the probability of, of the marriage ending in divorce. That's how many years after they marry. And the wife um, is over 25, and then the number of years after marrying. There are two mathematical models that we show down below that approximate the data displayed by the line graph. And one goes for the um, wife being under 18 at the time of marriage, and then the one being 25 or over at the time of marriage, or over 25. Part A asks you to use the appropriate formula to determine the percentage of marriages ending in divorce after 10 years when the wife is over 25 at the age of time of marriage. So if you know that the wife is over 25 at the time of marriage, you want to use this formula right here. And so we know D equals, this is for part A, D equals 2.3N plus 1.5. And again, N represents the number of years after marriage. And so in part A, it's saying 10 years after marriage. So they're asking you what would the um, percentage of marriage with ending divorce after 10 years of marriage with someone who's over 25. So I put in 10 for N. And pull the calculator out. So I get D equals 23 plus 1.5 and then I'd be 24.5. So in part A, um, about 24, what is that here? 24.5% of marriages um, end in divorce after 10 years when the wife 
is 25, is over 25 at the time of marriage. Okay. Part B says, do the appropriate line graph to determine if the percentage of marriages ending in divorce at 10 years when wife's over 25. Um, they'll use the line graph. So let's go look at the line graph here. And after 10 years of marriage, which is right here, and we want another percentage, which would be right there. That looks like, we'll zoom in a little bit. This is where it actually meets up right there. And so if we look at that carefully, it looks like this is between, oops, I erased that by accident. This is between 20 to 30%, so about 25%. So it looks like it's about 25%. Does the value given by the mathematical model underestimate or overestimate um, the actual percentage of marriages ending in divorce after 10 years as shown by the graph? Well, it looks like the graph um, is slightly, um, well, the value given by the, the mathematical model, which is right here, is slightly less than the actual percentage by the line graph. So the mathematical model. D equal 2.3N plus 1.5 um, is, or slightly, slightly underestimates the actual percentage of 25%. And um, because it gave me 24.5%. Okay, that's the end of 1.1. And so you can go ahead and get started on your homework. Um, or if you're my online, if you're my in class, we'll have some more to do in class. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me.